Are you intrigued to learn more about the pelvic priestess and what it is about? Well, let's get better acquainted. Hi, I am Shakti Erica Grace and I am the pelvic priestess. Really excited you're here and I'm really excited about this project and just can't wait to get started. So today's sort of an introductory video so that y'all can learn a little bit more about me and why I started the pelvic priestess and what the heck it is. So um, I'm also hoping to learn more about you all. I'm hoping that you all will be willing to leave a comment below with a little bit more about yourself and your journey because one of the things I'd really love to do is to create a sense of community around the things we'll be talking about. So I live in North Carolina in Chapel Hill and I own a pelvic health uh, physical therapy clinic called Grace Physical Therapy with offices in the, the surrounding towns, Chapel Hill, Durham and Raleigh. And I've been doing that for a number of years. Prior to being a pelvic health PT, I actually was a social worker and I worked in public health, uh, in maternal and child public health. So health and mental health have really been my interests and my passions for most of my life. And I love being a pelvic PT. Um, I will say, rewinding just a bit, that I am a lifelong overachiever <laughs> and type A personality. I am re in recovery for that and working on that. Um, I don't think that that's a super balanced way to live and I don't think it contributes to wellness, although there are some good things about it and I'm grateful for those good things. I also uh, would say I'm like one of the people that's sort of prone to anxiety and to a nervous system that runs a little hot. Uh, I know many people are like that, probably a lot of you are like that. And I have suffered my own chronic illness um, and I'll be sharing more about my journey as we go along. But uh, for today, suffice to say, I had a chronic illness from 2015 to 2017. So in addition to my sort of professional experiences, I have a personal experience with recovering from a debilitating illness. And then a lot of life has happened to me. Again, like most of you, I've had lots of things um, go wrong and bad and lots of failures and losses and tragedies that have affected me and have influenced how I see health and wellness and healing. I also consider myself spiritual. I don't think someone needs to be spiritual to get a lot out of the pelvic priestess content, but um, that's a part of who I am and um, one path to wellness. So it's something that I will be talking some about. Um, so as a pelvic therapist, I work with people every day with bladder issues, GI issues, uh, pain issues, any, kind of anywhere, um, but especially from sort of the rib cage down to the even knees, I would say. And that includes sort of the low back area as well, the spine, the hips, the SI joints and tailbone. And so it's not at all uncommon for someone to come in and say, I am having to pee all the time. I constantly feel like I have to pee. And also I have this terrible constipation that I've been struggling with for my whole life. And also I've got this uh, pain right above my right you know hip bone in the front and, and it hurts and I've tried all these things and no one is able to get it better and I think well fabulous because I'm a pelvic PT and I know how to treat all those things and that is true but as it turns out that life's a little more complicated because I start to get to know the person better and I find out that they're under extraordinary stress and they work you know 40 plus hours a week in a job that they don't like at all and they have a commute and they have two kids and their kids are in a million activities and they're driving all over the place and their marriage is kind of rocky and they're actually having pain with sex and they didn't mention that because they were embarrassed but you know that's going on as well and they're you know suffering and unhappy it's also not unusual for me to have patients that um, come to me for pelvic health related issues and are very, very unwell, systemically unwell with, with uh, all kinds of symptoms ranging from like extraordinary fatigue to um, headaches to pain in multiple areas of their body to like we, a lot, a lot of GI dysfunction. 
um, you know, nausea and feeling bloated and, you know, loose stools or constipation. So again, um, in my personal journey and in my professional journey, just starting to see that um, there's point specific things that people need help with, but then there, you know, you zoom out a little bit and realize that there's so many ways that so many of us are not well. Uh, and I, in my opinion, it's getting worse and worse and that we as a people, at least in the States, and I'm sure in a lot of other countries well, are getting more and more ill and more and more out of balance and alignment and ha starting to have more and more symptoms, and which is all suffering. And I don't wanna suffer. I don't think you all wanna suffer either. So the question becomes, what can we do about it? And how can we really kind of zoom out and look at this bigger picture of what it means to be well and what it means to cultivate wellness and start working towards that? So that's what the pelvic priestess is really about. And I've sort of using the pelvis literally because I'm a pelvic therapist. So we will most certainly be talking about pelvic health and ways to optimize your pelvic health literally. But I also want to use the pelvic bowl as a metaphor, as sort of the seat of our being and this area that we can turn our attention and focus and fill in order to fill our, our whole selves and strive for more healing, more wellness, and more joy. And the way I've conceptualized that is through these three vessels. And I'll put links below so that you all can, um, can check them out if you want a little more uh, information. But again, to keep today's video from getting too long, I'll just say that the first is sustenance, and that is really looking at nourishment of the body. The second vessel is sense, oh, wait, what is the second vessel? The second vessel is sensuality. And that is really looking at uh, nourishment of the mind and emotions. And what the way, way I really like to think about that vessel is filling your own cup. Uh, what brings you joy? What brings you pleasure? What lights you up? What makes your life worth living? And how can we do more of that and less of the other stuff? And then the uh, third vessel is, is synergy. And that's sort of looking at the energetics and you know being grounded, being aligned, and also spirituality if that's something that resonates for you. So my belief is that if we start to look at these three vessels and try to fill our three vessels so that they can then fill our pelvic bowl, that's gonna really help us in our journey to wellness. Now I will say that I am claiming the throne of the pelvic priestess but in truth, I am learning to be the pelvic priestess. I am still learning and growing. I'm still on my journey. The things that I'm bringing to the table are things I've learned from my own experience, both personally and professionally. And I feel like I have a lot to share, but I also have a lot to learn. And so we'll be bringing in a lot of uh, other experts with, with information and tools and skills to share with us. And then all of you, um, all of you are, are contributing as well because each of you has been on your own journey uh, and has had your own experiences with healing and what's worked for you. And so you have something to bring to the table and contribute and I'm really excited about all of this. I hope that you will um, be interested in this content. I would love it if you would subscribe to this YouTube channel and we'll link below how you can follow on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and uh, the website so that you can learn a little bit more uh, about what we're doing and keep in touch. And if you're willing to put a comment and introduce yourself and, and share a little bit about you, I'd love to start learning about the people that I'm interacting with. So may you and your pelvic floor be relaxed and happy and healthy. Bye for now.